Hi there, I'm Tom from Danfoss Climate Solutions. How do you save costs on system shutdown time and service if you have a solenoid valve failure in your system? Well, to answer that, have a look at this video. The videos troubleshoot the following Danfoss solenoid valve types. The EVR valve family, the EVU valve family, the CSV valve family and the coils used for these valves. Completing this series of online troubleshooting videos will efficiently support you to solve solenoid valve failures and thereby minimize system shutdown and service costs. This video gives you troubleshooting tips so you can efficiently identify root causes and make corrective actions related to a solenoid valve with external leakage. Check out the other online solenoid valve troubleshooting videos to get information about other valve failures and how to solve them. Now, let us then look at the solenoid valve failure where the valve has external leakage. This valve failure is related to both a solenoid valve type normally closed, called NC, where the valve is forced closed by a spring and is open when energizing the coil, as seen here. And valve type normally open, called NO, where the valve is forced open by a spring and is closed when energizing the coil, as seen here. So here you see an overview of possible root causes related to the solenoid valve with external leakage and how to solve these failures. Let us go through them step by step. Now, if there seems to be loose or incorrectly mounted parts, or maybe missing parts, after earlier service or inspection, causing valve external leakage. Then, as first step, tighten possible parts, as seen shortly here. And if needed, take the valve apart, if it is serviceable, and ensure that valve parts are mounted correctly, and possible missing parts are mounted, as seen shortly here. Now, if there seems to be damaged or dirty parts causing valve external leakage, then as first step take the valve apart, if it is serviceable, and clean the internal valve area and parts, as seen shortly here. If needed, replace worn parts using suitable service kits, and check out other Danfoss online videos about solenoid valve service. Please note that not all solenoid valves are serviceable. Here you see an overview of serviceable and non-serviceable solenoid valves. Serviceable valves with malfunction can be serviced by using suitable service kits. Non-serviceable valves with malfunction will need to be replaced by new valves. Now, if the valve external leakage seems to be caused by incorrect valve installation, or the valve is not suitable for the actual system conditions, both cases causing damaged valve parts, then, as first step, Take the valve apart, if serviceable, and inspect the internal valve parts and replace them as needed, as mentioned earlier in this video. Then ensure to compare the actual system pressures and temperatures with the technical data of the valve being used. If the system data exceeds the valve data, then you should replace the complete valve with another valve type which can meet the system conditions. Finally. If replacing the complete valve, then ensure to install it correctly according to the guidelines in the installation guide supplied with the valve, as seen here in this example. Check out other Danfoss online learnings about selection and installation of solenoid valves. So to summarize, from this solenoid valve troubleshooting video, you now know how to efficiently identify root causes and make corrective actions related to a solenoid valve with external leakage, this way minimizing system shutdown time and service costs. Please search for the other online solenoid valve troubleshooting videos to learn about relevant valve failure root causes and how to solve them with suitable corrective actions. Have a look at the other Danfoss online videos about solenoid valve troubleshooting and other videos where I talk about valves. Thanks for watching.